Hello tribe and welcome back to another set of readings. Today we are in our makeup or breakup series. This series will cover our love forecast for the month of March. Now before I get started, I first must say thank you, thank you, thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. I tell you all, all the time, you have no idea how your comments warm my heart. I just love you so, so much and you continue to inspire me to do what I'm doing. So again, before I get started, I just want to say thank you once again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, if you're returning and you've heard my introduction before, go ahead and fast forward this because I'm just going to go through a few um, introduction tidbits that's going to help the reader become more meaningful. If this is your first time joining with us, hello and thank you so much for your support. Now, we do have product and the product will be shown immediately following this introduction, so stay tuned for that. Now, be mindful that you can apply this to your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, and for even some, your Venus. Be mindful also that the messages will flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Oh, and Hello to our cross watchers. Now, there's no time limit to these readings. It could have happened three months ago. It could happen today or it could happen in the near future. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. And oh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you feel like this message today resonates with you or you feel like it's helpful to someone else's life, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. Now, private readings are available and the information pertaining to that can be found below. Now, I have already pre-shuffled the card so we can quickly move through that portion. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Aries. Let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What are the messages that need to go forth for the sign of Aries as it relates to either, either making up or breaking up? What's the love forecast for the month of March for the sign of Aries? Should they make up or break up? What's the love forecast? Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the Universe, what is the love forecast for the sign of Aries for March 2019? Should they make up or break up? What are the messages that need to go forth for the sign of Aries? Any more messages for the sign of Aries? Should they make up or break up? Any more messages for the sign of Aries? March 2019. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what are the messages that need to go forth for the sign of Aries for the month of March 2019? Should they make up or break up? What's the love forecast for the sign of Aries? What does that Aries need to know for March? Woo. Okay, we literally had Aries, we're doing it again. <laughs> we literally had several of them just fly out. Let's keep moving. Holy Spirit, the mind state of the universe, what are the messages for the sign of Aries? Should they make up or break up? March 2019. What's the love forecast? Ooh, okay. Aries, you are not messing around today at all. We are getting right to it. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what are the messages for the sign of Aries? Should they make up or break up for March 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aries? Okay. I mean, it's literally like flying out. Okay. Let's get right into it, our Aries. Let's get right into it. Your first card out was engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And that was coupled with romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is looking good. 
This is looking good, my Aries. And then we had a whole stack that flew out. So let's just see what it, it says. It says, take your time making this decision. So this is fitting perfectly well with this because if you're thinking about engagement, your feelings are real and worth exploring, take your time in making the decision on how you're moving forward. But clearly, this is, this is moving in the right direction. Just take your time with it. It says this situation is already resolved. So apparently there has been some hesit hesitancy there, but it's already been resolved. All you have to do is just really fo focus and just take your time. And listen, when you take your time, knowing that the situation is resolved, when you feel okay in your mind that everything is going to be okay, be ready to make the commitment. Make the commitment. Spend more time outdoors. I say this all the time, that you can really get clear answers when you just go into nature. I cannot stress that enough. When you go into nature, go, in, go by a lake, go by an ocean, go in the woods and just, you know, go, at a, go to a park where birds are, are, are chirping and singing. There's, that's where you can get clarification. But it says, let go of fear right now. And all of these came out together. So this really is telling the story of what needs to be taking place in your, not, in your life right now. And let go of fear because it seems like everything is going to be okay. But look, the next card out says playtime. It's playtime. <laughs> it's time for you to enjoy yourself. Forgiveness. We're working on some forgiveness here. So apparently, you know, something from the past, you're still trying, you're holding on to it. Forgive yourself or forgive what that person has done so you can move on. And be assertive when you're moving out now. Be assertive. Even though you need to, uh, where's that card? Uh, even though you need to take your time in making the decision, go forth with assertiveness when you're sure that you are ready to make this commitment. Okay? Be assertive. Be assertive. Realize that it's, it's time. It's okay. Let go of fear. In order to be assertive, you have to be able to let go of fear. Okay? This is beautiful. Let's see if we have any more messages that come through for the sign of Aries. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What are the messages that need to go forth? What's the plan that needs to go forth for the sign of Aries? Should they make up or break up? Are there any more messages for the sign of Aries for March 2019 for the love forecast? Any more messages for the sign of Aries? March 2019. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My Aries. Okay. All right, let me set these up and we'll be right back. Okay, my Aries, your first card out was the Four of Wands, followed by the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Tower card, Major Arcana, the Six of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and your overarching energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So when I look at the Ace of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who was feeling emotional loss. And I feel like that's where you were. I feel like that you were feeling emotional loss. I felt, feel like that you were scared. That's why you have let go of the fear now. And I feel like these two cards together, even with the forgiveness, I feel like these three cards, uh, this overarching energy with these cards right here are showing that you gotta let so you gotta let your fear go. You gotta forgive, and you may be um, feeling um, the remnants of a, a relationship from the past. And what this is telling you is that you have to let go of all of the the fear from the past. You have to let go of you know unforgiveness from the past because look, this was the first card out. So this this is where you are now. This is where you are, and that was the, your first card out was engagement, and then followed by romantic feelings. This is where you're moving to, but you have to make sure you are in the right energy. You have to right, make sure you're in the, the right mindset. You have to make sure that your, your vibrations are high, okay? And I tell, say this all the time. It's important that you keep your mind in the right place. It's important that you keep your spirit. It's important that you keep your body taken in the right foods. It's important that you do this because this is what your future is. This is beautiful, but you have to come out of this. You have to come out of this feeling like, you know, you have emotional loss here. You know, this is blocking you. This is all, this also means block creativity, okay? 
But this being coupled with the Knight of Swords, this is where you are, but you don't you didn't have you don't have any direction. Because I feel like fear is just it's it's just taking you over. Okay? So you have to let go of the of the fear so you can get direction in this relationship because this is celebration. This is beauty, but this the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is somebody with no direction, which is telling me you don't know how to move forward. Okay, you don't know how to bring forth this romantic fear. That's why I say your feelings are real and worth exploring. You have to. That's why it says be assertive. So it's telling you this is a card that said no direction, but it's telling you that's why you have to be be assertive because it has to crash. It has to come crashing down. Okay, your fear has to come crashing down. The feelings of an old relationship has to come crashing down. Forgiveness, all of this has to crash down. It has to be over. Okay, it has to end. It has to end. The Six of Swords in reverse because this is emotional baggage. Okay, this is somebody with unresolved issues. This has to stop. This, this has to stop. It has to end. And what this is saying here with the Eight of Pentacles is be diligent. Be passionate about this new relationship. Be passionate about your romantic feelings. Be passionate about, you know, this relationship could be moving to the point of an engagement. That doesn't mean that you actually have to be getting a ring, but it could be moving to the level of a couple that is engaged or getting engaged. But I know it's quite serious because this could possibly even be a twin flame relationship because this replica's card represents twin flame. Okay, but there's some clearing out that you need to do. There's some clearing out that you need to do. And that's why it says here, take time making the decision. So take time and understanding what you need to do. The situation has already been resolved, but it's time to really make a commitment. Okay, it's time to really, really make a commitment. Okay, my Aries, my Aries. So I think this concludes your reading for today. I love you. I love you. I love you guys so much. This was a beautiful, beautiful reading. You just needed a little bit of direction. But now moving forward, remember, be assertive, forgive, and know at the end of the day, baby, this is a twin flame card. Okay, it's time to celebrate, be assertive, let go of your fear. Time to make the commitment. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye-bye.